Have I told you lately that I do not like QuickBooks Online, yet I'm kind of heavily invested in it? I So here's an another example, and I just discovered this today. I've spent the last few hours struggling with it, and I finally found a solution. And the solution, the solution tends to prove, I think, that the program does not work the way it should and that it is just does not work right in so many different ways. So here I'm going to come over to my computer number two. I've got an invoice on the screen. I've got some of it blurred out. This section over here is blurred out to protect my client's identity. This part in here for the description of the services I performed is blurred out all the way up the screen. So when I scroll it continues to be blurred out because it has some specific individuals informations in there. And then over here I have my, uh, well there's dates over here of services that I performed and quantities and rates and amounts. This tax column is the issue today. These things are not taxed, right? Services are not taxed in California. I come all the way down and I find there are some items on this invoice that are taxed. And the tax amount for those, 10181. Those are all correct. Now I did, I generated five invoices today. Two of them had the problem that I'm about to demonstrate. The other one that had the problem did not have any taxable items on it, which is significant to note. Now I'm going to go to uh, the print preview screen to display the invoice. I'm going to switch to camera one so that I can switch my um, blurring properly. And actually what I have to do for that is pause the video. There, I had to pause the video because I couldn't fix the blurring until I have it on screen. So now I have, again, this, this middle section of the invoice blurred out, protects my client's identity and the description, but still the dates and the, the service items are here with the amount, but this letter T right here indicates that these are taxable. The letter T indicates taxable. When I scroll down, I'll get down to those actual hardware items that I sold them and that's not it yet. All of these have the letter T, which implies that they're being taxed. Let's get down. This is a long invoice. Okay, here's taxable. Where are they? Here. Here's some hardware parts. Keyboard and keyboard and mouse. There's uh, the, this one's a computer. And this one's the, the 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 taxable items that I showed you on the other screen, although I guess you couldn't actually see what the items were, but the T's that you saw on the other screen were the taxable items. And they are here, showing with a T the same as the others. The tax amount is correct. That tax amount is based upon the actual taxable items. But why is this letter T showing up on all these items? I've been through a bunch of different, I've tried a different invoice form. I went back to older invoices for this client. I went to other clients and basically what I found is that none of my prior generated invoices have this problem until today. And it only happened on two of my clients today. Three of the clients did not have this problem. Now I'm going to close out of here. I'm going to pause the video to get to the next screen to show what the solution is. You're not going to believe this. Here we go. Over here on the upper left, I changed the blurring a little bit. So I've got my client name blurred out, my client's email address blurred out. And I there's this item right here that says this customer is not tax exempt. Okay, that means they're taxable, right? And we've got a little bit of a double negative here, tax exempt and not, not tax exempt. That means they're taxable. Well, that's true. 
this customer is not tax exempt. But that is the problem because that designation is there. <laughs> That's my clue on this screen that this client is going to have the letter T showing up on all of those. So you say, well, wait a minute, I can't change them to tax exempt because they're not tax exempt. So I'm going to click on this link right here. I have to pause the video so I can fix my blurrings. So here's what comes up when I click on that link saying this customer is not tax exempt. It opens this panel here. Let's calculate your tax rate. Customer tax details. This customer is not tax exempt. Okay, that's true. That's true. I don't want to change that. The default tax rate for the customer is based on location. Okay, fine. That sounds reasonable. Your tax agency and standard rate, here's the rates of the, of the taxes. And if I scroll down here, it actually shows me the taxable items that are on this invoice. Yeah, that looked like a spam call. I, uh, so still, this looks okay. <laughs> I'm going to go into the pencil icon here so that I can edit this. I'm going to pause again. Yeah, so that was fine. Didn't show anything that I care about. So here, I can mark this customer's tax exempt. I don't want to do that. Here's the solution. This is crazy that this is the solution. And the way I discovered this as being the solution is that the invoices that were not having this problem did not have that phrase over here on the left side that says this customer is not tax exempt. They just didn't have that phrase. It didn't say they were tax exempt. It just didn't have this phrase. I thought, why in the world do some of my customers have that phrase and some of them don't when they're all taxable? So I found this setting was different on the clients that don't have this problem. So I do this drop down and instead of based on location, I need to say local tax so that the tax rate for this customer is based on local tax instead of location. Somehow, saying that it's based on location causes all those letter T's to show up on the invoice for non-taxable items. It does not make sense. It does not make sense. Can I use the word stupid? Can I use vulgar language? No, not on my channel. Thank you very much. So I'm going to click save here. And then let's see, I'm going to pause. Well, actually not, not pause yet, but that takes me to here by saving. This customer is not tax exempt. The default tax rate for this customer is local tax instead of based on location. So I'm going to click the close button, pausing. And that brought me back to here. Nothing appears different on this screen, except it no longer says this customer is not tax exempt. That phrase is simply gone. Nothing else to replace it. The customer is still not tax exempt, but that phrase isn't here now just because now tax is based on local tax instead of based on location. Now, if I go display that invoice, I'll come down here to print preview. Let's see, I click on that to bring up that little menu. And then this second option here that you can see is in green, just says print or preview. So I'll click on that. I'm going to pause. So that came up to here and those T's are all gone. I scroll all the way down to the bottom and the ones that are supposed to be taxed have the letter T and I come down to the bottom. The tax amount is showing correctly. 
So I've never had this problem before. And all of a sudden it shows up today and just throws a huge monkey wrench into my day. It took me hours to figure that out. I don't understand how this program is so bad. It does many things behaving in a way that it obviously was not supposed to do, which I, I have to deduce is bugs in the program. They did some kind of update, and that's one of the reasons why I dislike so much being forced into subscribing to programs online in the past I could purchase the QuickBooks De Pro desktop program, install it on my computer, and never get an update unless I choose to do an update. Now they do an update when they feel like it, willy-nilly, and it so often is wrong and bad, and I don't even know they've done an update. I have. And, and, and many times it just it just escapes me. I don't notice that there is a problem. And this in this case, the, it didn't affect the numbers. And sometimes it, it does. I just went through processing my taxes. I do extended tax filing, so I don't do my... I do a year's worth of reconciling stuff in a, in a set, sitting. And because this program is so bad... It takes me multiple days to accomplish and a lot of stress and frustration. I do not like QuickBooks Online. I've been thinking through recently what I would have to do to transition to a different program or to recreate my books from scratch. And that is that itself is also a nightmare to do. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But this is the state of affairs in computers and computer software, and especially subscription products. There's some things about subscription products that I like, and there's some things that I don't like. And this is an example of what I don't like, because they can do an update, not test it well, and just put a real monkey wrench into my day. All right. I hope this has been useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.